Hi YouTube, uh sorry my room's such a mess. Uh if that gets in the way of this video, I apologize. Um and I'm just gonna show you guys how to set up a spider ball python cage. It's pretty appropriate for any ball python. Um but one thing I do not suggest is using aspen bedding. Uh, so here we go. Um, first off, I have my snake right there. Don't know why he's right there. He's really cool though. He's kind of mean. He bit me right there. There's no mark because he's too small and he barely got me. Uh, so let's start out with the caging. He's in a 15 gallon, there goes the light. That's gonna happen a couple times this video, okay? Just warning you guys. Uh, he has a 15 gallon tank, it's long, not wide. 15 gallon long. Um, there it is, it's wood frame. Got it at East Bay Vivarium when I got uh, my snake spider. Uh, then it's got a top, the top broke, it was originally glass, so that wood was already there, and then right here it was glass, but we got a screen to put on top of it because the glass snapped when he was under his hide, luckily he was under his hide, or else my little buddy would have been dead. Then I got this screen, so yeah, it works, I'm not going to take my snake out because he will bite. Um, um, let's get to the heating, uh, 75 watt bulb in this, warm side, 90 degrees, cool side, 80 degrees, um, there's a little temperature gauge, humidity, I need to spray him, he does not like being sprayed, so, Beware if he strikes at the, at the camera or something. Because he does not like me. He doesn't like people in general. And he hates being sprayed. Like, that's his least favorite thing. He kind of doesn't like people, though. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he actually likes them. Because I got him a little bit ago. There's his body. Um, slide this top back on. The light just turned on, so. He's probably going to try to get out. Because he doesn't like me. Well, he doesn't like people yet. Somewhere in his little tiny snake body, he likes people. I know it. Somewhere deep down inside, there's his head. Um, need to set the light on. That's what it looks like with the light on. Uh, here is the thing I use to regulate the heat. It's at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Ah, uh, should be lower. It was at like 94, which is way too hot for a ball fight on. And then, uh, yeah. So, for bedding, I use cypress mulch. It looks nice. And aspen gives snakes mites. Ooh, pythons in general. Matt, get your snake out of my room. He is I need a, to ask you a question. What? Done. Wait till I'm done. He's very curious right here, my snake. He's like, what's he doing? Uh, yeah, cypress mulch, not aspen. Aspen gives uh, snakes mites. Pythons in general, usually. Uh, but, like, for instance, my brother's king snakes, I highly recommend Aspen because they are burrowing snakes. Um, I don't recommend cypress mulch for them because it will impact their burrowing. But let's move on. Uh, his hide is a little log hide. He barely fits in it, like, hardly. I did have a log for him to climb on, but I put that back in the king snake cage. 
I'm gonna get a new one that's better for pythons. That one was a little small. Uh, yeah, I'm, I plan getting that today if my dad's not gonna be a uh, tired about it. Oh, I'm sorry. It was kind of shaking my desk because that's what it's on desk. And I have his water bowl, huge ass water bowl. Um, because they, he, he does soak, and he does drink from it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, he soaks and drinks from it. Oh, and this is a 15 gallon long, if I didn't mention that. I sound kind of retarded in, in this video because I do not feel well. And here's the top. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, this was the world's longest Python setup video. And this is appropriate for all ball pythons. Uh, I do not suggest using this setup for any python but ball pythons. When he gets older, you move him up to like a 40 gallon when he's full grown. But right now, as a baby wild python, I use a 15 gallon. Most people will say, oh no, you retard, use 20 gallon. No, it's too small, it's too big for him. Because pythons do like it crowded. Nick, show him what a 20 gallon looks like. Uh, so this is the 15 gallon. And my brother's king snake is even smaller. I'll get a picture of him. That's him, in, that's as big as he can get in a ball. And my python gets a 15 gallon. So my 15 gallon comes to about here on this. And this tiny snake gets what would, would usually Nick go in a 10 gallon, like right here. But yeah, I don't get it. So I rather spoils him. So thanks for watching. And this is my ball python. Spider ball python spider.